Hey, Spuddies, Potato Big Whiskey here, and welcome to Let's Play Civilization VI as Victoria. Now, I forgot to say later, taters, so, you know, remind me if I do that again. Uh, we are going to go ahead and build a neighborhood over here in Hobart. We're going to jump right into the action. We're not going to have any faffing about screwing around. <clears throat> so, uh, in terms of Jane Austen here, we are just going to create another great work here. But this one we're not going to sell because nobody really has enough gold to justify selling. We're just going to move these out of London so that the next great writer has plenty of room to place it. So in terms of our archaeological museums, we have filled up three. I would like to maybe build one to two more um, because, you know, the map is getting pretty thin in terms of artifacts. I'm having a hard time finding them. I, I do believe there are more. It's just, you know, they're thin on the ground. Now we did find another one over here. That's great. Throw down some mines over here on these tiles. Uh, once we get mass media, we're pretty much immediately going to build the Crystal Redentor. And I think we had planned to place it over here, but I'd like to find a hill that's beside a the theater square. And so I think we'd kind of settled on this hill because it would boost this theater square quite a bit. But net me a little bit of extra culture. We'll drop a farm there. Now this builder did the right thing here. Um, he was supposed to head over this way, but I kind of want to improve this land now. So we're going to harvest and then place a forest. And then the next national park is probably going to go on this one. Go ahead and repair these tiles. Go away, fly. God damn it, get out of my face. Oh my god, the fly. The fly. Coastal raid. Boom. Nice. Get that 30 gold. Feels good, man. Uh, choose a thingy. We'll go ahead and buy that tile. Boom. Nice. Lots of fish. Lots of growth. So he's gonna skyrocket in population, which is good. Good, 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 good. If you don't read the news okay, there's mass media. Let's get started on Broadway. No, I really hope that nobody has built Broadway. Or, or not Broadway, sorry, Crystal Redentor. The city does not have great production. It's going to have worse once we kill this. But. But. Should be able to put. Oh, maybe I should have used Eiffel here. Eiffel has a bigger production boost. 480, nice. We have nothing to chop in here, unfortunately. But that's just the way the cookie crumbles. Now, I want to trade with some people internationally. I'm already trading with John Curtin. I would like to trade with um, Germany. So let's go ahead and get a trader in Sunderland. Boom, and we'll use that one to trade with Germany. So, we just got mass media. We definitely want capitalism. We definitely want ideology and mobilization. We kind of want everything here. We also want to get cultural heritage. I might pick that up now, because that'll allow me to get the 100% tourism from great works of art and artifacts. Um, but I think I'm going to wait until I have democracy before I go for that. So, I'm going to go, like, suffrage into capitalism into cultural heritage. And then sort of straight to social media, that sort of of thing um yeah i think that's pretty reasonable it's a reasonable way to do things uh we did just finish a lighthouse in birmingham which is that extra trade route that we're using i would like to build a neighborhood i don't think i want any of these wonders so let's get started on the neighborhood now where is liang let's promote liang let's get the fishery unique improvement boom okay now what we want to do is we want to go into our government here we lost one of our cards it's totally fine um, I think it was the amenities from a garrison. So let's put in military academies, seaports, and renaissance walls generate plus two sides. So this card is actually really great. I can't remember when it's unlocked. Let me double check that. Uh, yeah, close this card. When is it unlocked? Nationalism?
When did I get this card? I should have had this slotted in a long time ago. I've had Renaissance Balls forever. Wait a minute. Where does this card come from? Military research. Military Academy Seaports and Renaissance Walls. Okay. Military research. It's unlocked at urbanization. So I should have slotted this in. So this card is really, really great because I'm go I, because I build so many Renaissance walls. This is like getting plus two science in every city in my empire, which is going to get multiplied by fifteen percent. So this card is going to be really, really great, and it's great that it, I should have actually had this slotted in. This is a relatively new um, card. It used to it used to not work with Renaissance walls, but this is a great card for tourism. Now I'm kind of still figuring things out. Oddly enough. We've already placed all of our neighborhoods, so we don't need this card anymore. However, we are going to be building uh, more builders. So let's go ahead and see if... Do we have a way to build faster wonders? Yeah, I kind of want to get this wonder card in. So I'm going to get rid of my faith generation. Just for now. I'm going to put in the builder card. Where is the builder card? Here we go, public works. So we're going to build these a little bit faster. And then, um, trade routes are going to want to happen, perhaps. Let's see. Robert Barnes, stock exchange, but minus two amenities in all cities. It will push to 100% naval production. Oh, extra production for naval raiders. Okay. Trade route yields less. 100% experience. Domestic. Provide plus two food and plus two production. Theocratic legacy would give me some faith. Um... Science is like my big sticking point right now. So I'm thinking like either campus adjacency or rationalism. The campus adjacency is a little bit more guaranteed science. So there we go. We just jumped to 176 science, which is a lot um, for us right now in terms of our generation. I think our base generation is like 90. So we're almost doubling our science per turn just from cards and, and, and clever placement and city-state allies. See that? Like, it just shaved off two turns off steel, a turn off rifling. So we're going to get there that little bit quicker. Um, I did mean to purchase the Renaissance walls in here. That'll be even more science and faith and, faith and tourism and all that jazz. Um, okay. Now, London has a much better production line, so I don't need as many of my builder charges to go towards it. Um, the Eiffel Tower, even though it is a higher production wonder. I'm going to put you on alert. Then I'm going to rip up this farm. I can now start buying builders with impunity because we're getting close to the point where we're going to be doing a lot of work with builders. So I'm going to start grabbing builders wherever I think there's decent land development potential. Like, for example, over here. There's plenty of land development, and especially over here. So we're going to go grab that. Now we have a plus five charge builder. Now... The problem with this city is that it has a lot of these niter, but they kind of hurt my appeal on a lot of these tiles that I'm going to want to build thingies. Now, it would be minus one appeal, so it would prevent this from being a seaside resort once I have um, the Eiffel Tower. But surely I can throw a couple of mines down. That'll give me a boost for rifling, which is quite good because that's a tech that I'm researching very soon. Uh, I don't think I want to spend faith on this anymore because faith is way more important for getting naturalists. Um, so I think I'll just work on that. What I will spend the faith on, though, are these walls because that's a decent chunk of tourism. And, you know, if I threw a thing down here, yeah. I'll throw a neighborhood on this tile. Pretty much get to work on that neighborhood immediately. Um... Yeah, good stuff, good stuff. I would like to build a Royal Navy dockyard in here. So let's throw that right there. Right there. There, that's a good spot. And then we will go ahead and build another farm over here. All right, so let's go ahead and harvest this and then put a forest there. Steal another tech boost. Now we did steal a 
tech. We boosted electricity or rifling or something like that. I keep stealing tech from the Congo. I think I just want to be stealing techs in general. Ah, hello. Yes, we are finding lots of relics. I'm really happy about that. Definitely worth it to build another theater square somewhere. Perhaps Newcastle upon Tyne? You build a theater square here? Mm, you know what? I actually think that's a reasonable thing to do. So the entertainment complex in Sheffield has been finished. Let's go ahead and get the zoo an arena that'll give it lots of amenities. It's an expensive thing, but they give tourism and stuff. Uh, the Royal Navy Dockyard would be a big boon for this city in terms of getting the uh, boosts that it wants in regards to like trade routes and stuff. And also give it a lighthouse. Although I don't want to hard build things anymore because I have like infinite gold. We just built a spy in here. This one I'm going to send to... Canberra. Well, no, where is his... There we go, Perth. We're going to start stealing tech from Australia. And let's see, we have an armory. We have the option of getting an armory. I may as well. Let's grab the water park. Since there's going to be seaside resorts here, I think a water park here is totally reasonable. Water park and a neighborhood. Well, technically the neighborhood is a little bit more expensive, but it does give more tourism. Okay, so we're going to spend one more Gustav Eiffel charge, and then we'll probably spend a Brunelleschi charge. So this one I want to trade with the Congo. So now I have a trade route with the Congo, and this one I want to trade with Germany. Oh, the city doesn't have a harbor! No! Uh, let's send this over to Liverpool. Maybe they can trade with Germany. Let's harvest this. Let's throw down these forests to make sure that we just secure this as a thingy middle. Thingy majig. Um, okay, looking good. Are you working? Wait, did I remember to put you into your campus? I'll work that campus. It's important. That's important amounts of science we're missing out on. Put a forest there. We're not too far away from getting another naturalist. So, why don't you go get this amber online? We're going to go ahead and purchase that tile, and it's time to start spending our money to develop our empire. I'm going to leave you working the way you are. Let's have a look. We're going to purchase over here. Okay. Drop another one of those there. Go ahead and grab this artifact. This will be a Guitarjan artifact. And then this one will be a probably Australian yeah, or Japan, Japanese. Japanese sounds good. Uh, I don't really have anything to do with you, so we'll just kind of leave you there. Sheffield doesn't need to be developed right now. Bristol would like to be developed a little bit. I'd like to convert these into forests, these three tiles, so that I have set up for good seaside resorts and perhaps even this tile as well. So I'll tell you what, I'm going to get a builder in this city and in Hull so that we can start developing towards uh, seaside resorts a little bit more effectively. And chop there. In fact, I might even get another builder in here because Magnus is about to be established. And I'll get this Ferris wheel and the aquarium. This will give to each coastal resource. Yeah, once I've finished this, the city's going to generate a decent amount of science too, which is quite nice. Have the aquarium. Um, what other districts would be important? I have a theater square. The holy site wouldn't be bad. A little bit of extra faith will potentially get me a little bit more tourism. So I think that's going to be important. The neighborhood would get me a decent amount too. So I think I'm going to throw down the holy site. But I'm going to work on the neighborhood because that's more direct. More direct tourism. That's sort of The holy site's a little bit indirect tourism because you have to use the faith to purchase a naturalist and you know, all that sort of stuff. So we must not be far from getting a golden age. I'm expecting this to go to 10 turns until the next era. Yep, there we go. Now, there are people ahead of me. So 10 turns until we'll get started on the Eiffel Tower. So we've used up three of your charges or two of your charges. We're going to put you over there and we're going to use up one of your charges here and then we'll build that in 10 turns. And that should be done. However, I'm going to guarantee that by... 
making sure that I purchase that this tile to cut the forest. Um, any more any more ways I could get production in here? Let me have a look. Mm, ten turns. Chopping the far chopping the jungle jungle over here will speed it up a little bit. I can't reach these down here. Mm -hmm. I'll take it down to f six turns, so I'm feeling pretty confident that we can get that in six turns. You're going to hang out here for when we get started on the Eiffel Tower. Now, I could spend a second charge. I'm going to be greedy and try to save, save charges here. Greed is good, you know. Let's go ahead and get chopping. Now, I want to chop here. I want to make sure I'm not killing my appeal. I would be killing my appeal, but that's okay for now because it's worth production. I want to trade with Germany, Heidelberg. That'll also get me a little bit of science, which is like the big bottleneck for my empire right now, is a lack of science, which is why we're going to be quite happy getting this turtle. There we go. That's a great tile now. City is going to grow real rapidly, which is awesome. I also want to get those crabs if we can. Uh, you're growing pretty effectively. Go away, fly. Oh, my God. OMG. Working on the neighborhood. May as well throw a farm down here. That'll give us a nice high food production tile. Then we're going to remove these quarries because these need to be turned into forest tiles because quarries give negative appeal. And we don't want that. Where? I thought I had a guy on the way over here. Yeah, there you are. Go grab that. So I need another theater square. Where am I going to get a theater square? You are an art museum, right? Yeah. Where am I going to get another theater square? Here. This is the place I was going to get one. I want to put it on that tile right there, maybe. Or right here is totally fine as well. Yeah, we'll put it right there. We want to get started on it. Let's get the arena and the zoo. That'll give me a boost. May as well go improve those elephants. And keep looking around for some of these tasty relics and artifacts, rather. Artifacts. Artifacts. Artifacts, not relics. Ah! Jump in the water. Unit needs orders over here. Let's keep scouting down this way. Next turn. Uh, yes, we will stand united as friends. In fact, I might even open up a uh, alliance with Norway. I think I will to try and secure that friendship. Japan is just barely clinging on by their fingertips. So let's have a look at the cultural victory. Yeah, we are well on our way to a cultural victory already. We have 20 out of 166 tourists, and now we're up to 23. So we're gaining somewhere between three tourists per turn already. And we haven't even gotten to uh, the seaside resorts, which are going to be like the big tourism generator for us. Drop a plantation there. Let's see if we can do a production focus. Will that do anything? Not really. Five turns is a reasonable number of turns to finish that in. What I will do is I'll get a second builder and start turning these into forests because that will actually improve the production of this city quite a bit. And I can always use those builder charges a lot. I'm going to save this guy. Uh, you're going to chop here to try to speed up stuff. And then you're going to chop here to speed up this. Take a few turns off of it. Keep looking. I'm just going to put you on alert. Now it's time to harvest this. Boom. Very nice. Go up here. Harvest that as well. We're going to also harvest this forest and replace it with an old, with a second growth forest. If we could get Reyna heavily leveled up to purchase districts, we could even get aquariums in here, which would give us some science and stuff. Eh, probably not worth our while. Oh, there's actually an artifact up here. And up here. So yeah, we definitely need another theater square. Um, in fact, I should have built the theater square in here. These two tiles are great, actually. So keep working those. That'll get you growing really, really fast. Um, I may as well build this mine as well. That'll give this city a really good production base. Really, really great city for in terms of development in a, in a late game scenario. Not so great in the early mid game. 
Hello, yes, okay. Oh, yeah, I think I'm going to need two to three more archaeological museums. So I probably went a little bit too heavy on art museums, which was a mistake. I will admit that. I could have gone for more. Um, but, you know, it's not a game ending mistake. There's still plenty of artifacts that I can get my hands on. And I do need to build more theater square or theater squares. So here's mobilization. Okay, really good. Let's go ahead and grab a governor promotion. Now we have aquaculture on you. I want to promote you to tax collector. Now I'm going to place you in my capital once I'm finished developing all these sea tiles into aquaculture tiles. So I want to get a builder. Let's get you out of the way. I'm going to get a couple of builders in London and start developing these fisheries just for fun to help us grow. Now they don't give housing, but they do give food, which is, you know, almost as good. Particularly when you don't have very strong tiles to work in the meantime. So let's go rip up these farms and place forests on them. Appeal of zero, need to rip up this mine. Place a forest on it as well. Gonna plant woods here. Get ourselves another builder down here to help develop. And we're going to plant forest here. We're going to harvest. There we go. Neighborhood. Awesome. More error score that we don't need. Um, holy site. Yes. That's going to help us out in development. Don't want to put a mine there. Let's go ahead and get the fish tile. Uh, let's go ahead and get this fish tile as well. We'll purchase. Boom. Okay. Nice. 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 All right. Well... Stick that there. The city is now developing really, 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 really nicely in terms of growth. Not a lot of production. Not a lot of production. To be fair. To be fair. Not a lot of not a whole lot of production. But the city doesn't really need a whole lot of production. It kind of just needs lots of population and it'll kind of work it out for itself. Okay. Choose artifact. Cleopatra. Awesome. Keep looking for those. Yeah, steel technologies if you were a higher level, that's great actually. Looks like some of these cities are flipping. Looks like there's a bit of a war going on between the Congo and Norway. I need to get open borders with Norway, so I think I will open up an alliance with them. That's something I need to do, I'm kind of forgetting to do that. I said I would do it and I forgot. Um, sometimes I have these ideas and then I get distracted. So there's rifling, we are working on steel. We're four turns away from steel, so we're getting that really fast in comparison to what we thought we would get it in. So let's talk alliances. Let's do a cultural alliance. Will you pay me stuff? You will pay me a small amount. Let's talk to Gitarja as well and see if she wants to do an alliance. A research alliance seems reasonable. Should she have lots of money? Go ahead. You'll give me one gold per turn. That's reasonable. That's fair. And now this guy is going to go ahead and keep stealing things because I need these uh, tech boosts because they're going to shave off a lot of time. Now, I also want to make sure that I have secured the suzerainty of Geneva. Otherwise, I'm not too worried. Um, yeah, let's put a lumber mill there. Let's go ahead and chop this out. Put you over there. I'm going to need another builder in here. Probably going to need another one over here. I'm slowly just buying up all the builders that I need. So let's get fisheries. Now, we're focused on faith right now. So I think we can take off that faith focus and just leave it. And work a little bit of extra food. I think I prefer getting the extra faith. Don't need the culture. Have lots of culture. Faith is good, though. I'm pretty close to getting another naturalist. Three turns until we get the Crystal Red and Tor. Let's put you asleep. Okay, let's put a forest here and a forest here. That'll give this city some extra production tiles. I'm going to put you on production focus. Uh, probably won't make a difference, to be honest. We'll put a lumber mill here. Nice. We don't want to put a lumber mill here, but we do want to put a forest there. And we're going to go ahead and harvest this copper. 
keep on searching. About to get ideology, which will allow us to build an additional spy, which we're going to want to do. We're going to want two more spies um, to get as much value out of them as we can. There's Kabul, actually, amazingly. That's Japan's capital, which is their new capital. It's not their original capital, because they have been hit pretty hard. Now, Slowly, ideas awesome. So there's ideology. Lead to policies. Sanitation has advanced considerably. We just finished a neighborhood in their capital. Really great. Um, let's get those fisheries up. We already have the neighborhood built. So, either spies or projects. And I'm thinking spies are pretty good at this stage of the game. Uh, why don't you go sleep? Lumber mill. Lumber mill. Great. That's going to give this city some production. Not much, but some. Lumber mill. Fishery. Let's go ahead and get another builder in here to keep developing this territory. So you're working lots of food right now, which is totally reasonable because that's going to grow you really, really fast. And then you can work a lot of production. In fact, I'm going to get these turtles and these crabs as a priority. Uh, this fish is out of range, but this cattle is not. I don't want to improve that cattle. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This looks okay. This looks fine. That's totally fine the way it is. Let's harvest this. That's going to finish the holy site, which we can then purchase all the things that we need. That'll give me that little bit of extra faith generation. We're going to throw it in a couple of forests up here. I don't need another builder in here for a little while. I have quite a few. Did you head up there? And... Did you build your neighborhood? You did build your neighborhood. So you could build me a spy. It would take you a while. I could also just do a theater square festival. I think I'll just build a spy because there's not really much you need to do for a while. Uh, let's go ahead and establish the spy network. Let's keep looking around with this guy. Unit needs orders over here. Yep, let's go ahead and purchase this crabs. Spending our money wisely. That'll give us a, another good tile. We definitely want to build a Royal Navy dockyard in here at some point. There's a plus four right here. But I mean, whether or not we ever get around to actually building that, that's a whole different ball game because the city just does not have any production, which is unfortunate. I might be able to get it some production, maybe sending it a trade route or something. That could work. Oh no, don't settle on that. Don't settle there. 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 No. Don't do it. Don't do it, Germany. Don't do it. Oh my god, you did it. He just killed an artifact. Wow. All right. There's Crystal Red and Tor. Awesome. Now, this does give us the 100% tourism from Seaside Resorts, which we don't have yet, but that's totally fine. Um, let's talk to Germany. Let's open up friendship relations with Germany. Let's also get an alliance with Germany. Okay, we don't have an alliance slots left. Let's talk to Germany. Let's get open borders. What would it take? One gold per turn. Re fair and reasonable. That's going to let us get in here to get that. We're going to claim a great work. This will be the great artist who will create... Wonderful great vex over here in Bristol. We're going to move these around. Now, builder, builder, I spy with my little eye something to do with this builder. More fish, more fish. That'll be it. That'll be all, little guy. You can start getting rid of these farms in the not-too-distant future. You'll stay asleep there for now. Uh, let's go get these fish online. Lumber mill here. And a forest here. And a forest here. We'll go ahead and get rid of these two jungles as well. Well, actually, I would like you to have this tile. Actually. And then I want you to have this tile as well, so that we can chop into this theater square and get some more archaeologists. 
Then, uh, your, 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 your. Let's see, can we get another naturalist? One more turn until we can get another naturalist. You're going to go there. Okay. Don't really need you anywhere. I guess I could improve this plantation. Sure, why not? Because I'm already doing all the fishery tiles that I need. May as well grab the last few two food tiles. Go get that. Then we'll move Liang from there. Let's put a lumber mill down there. We'll go to the next turn. Okay, we're, we're hitting into a sort of late game city focus now. We're, we're developing really well. We're getting a high population in a lot of our cities. We're getting lots of uh, late game infrastructure. Things are going really, really well. And we're about to get our late game. Um, no, I don't want to trade away my great works. Thank you. We're already up to 30 tourists, which is really good. Let's choose our production over here. We just finished this neighborhood. That's really great. We have a theater square. Uh, water park seems like it could be good. If I put it here, it would improve two, well, three important things. If I put it here, it would be less. So I think I'm going to build a water park and it's going to go right there. Because that's like the tourism -y kind of district. We'll build that water park. It'll take 16 turns. Uh, we'll go ahead and create another great work of art. Um, we'll see if someone wants to buy the fishermen in Recluse among the Lotus Storm. Now, I think Germany might have the cash to buy that. Let's have a quick look at Germany. 500. So would you like to buy fishermen in reclusion and your gold? Okay. Very good. Very good. Give me all your things. Thank you. Thank you. All right. I'll send that to him. Great. That'll net us a good chunk of more gold. Now, I did agree... Uh, due to complaints that we won't use that exploit in the next series. But uh, for this series, I've already used it, so I may as well. Some people feel like it's cheating. I don't feel like it's cheating, but I see where people are coming from. And if you want to see me play without it, that's fair and reasonable. And I will acquiesce to your requests. Let's go ahead and get another builder in here. A couple of forests wouldn't be bad in there. So let's do a builder down here to help develop. We'll go ahead and harvest there. And we'll put a lumber mill here. So let's go ahead and build a lumber mill there. We'll grab those elephants. Another copy of elephants. Elements. Elephants. Ah! Um, I'm tempted to buy another settler and send it over to this city. To this area here. If I plotted it right here, I would pick up a few. Um, there are three things extremely hard. <laughs> uh, I would pick up <laughs> I would pick up a few um, a few good spots for seaside resorts. So I think I'm gonna send a city over here and then spend money to develop it. Let's choose our research here. Um, we just got the Eiffel Tower, so let's go ahead and place that in our capital. Eiffel Tower, 34 turns. Boom. We're hoping to bring that down to a much more reasonable amount of turns. Let's wake you up, Gustav. Okay, we'll input 480 production and then another 315. That'll bring that down to a really sharp amount of turns. And we should be able to complete it in a couple of turns. Now we pretty much just want to get to radio as fast as possible. It's going to take us somewhere in the region of 5, uh, 11... Uh, 16, 20, 30 ish turns to get to there. So, probably like an episode or two. So, I want to thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys are enjoying the series. Please remember to subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. Remember to leave a like if you want to directly support my channel. And remember to leave a comment if you want to give me your feedback. Other than that, though, I want to say I love you all very much. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Or, no, see you later, taters. Damn it, I almost forgot again.